Hello grade 10 welcome back to another video with me Miss Martins. In today's video we're going to be looking at some Euclidean geometry. Please subscribe for more videos like this and take a look at the links in the description box below for more videos like this one. Let's jump right in. So we got 6.1 it says in the diagram below triangle ABC and you can see that that's the big triangle here on the left. ABC is similar Remember this symbol over here means similar. This way it's similar. This way is congruent. The way I think of it, you know, congruent is like equal, 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 like a triple equal sign, super, super equal, identical. So this one is similar. So triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Here's triangle DEF over here on this side. And they give me the following information. A is equal to D, which is equal to X. So they're telling me that this angle is equal to this angle. B is equal to E, which is equal to Y. So they're telling me that this angle is equal to this angle. And then finally, that this angle is equal to this angle. So they obviously are using, they used angle, angle, angle to prove similarity. Three angles are equal in each of these triangles. 6.1.1. It is further given, so they're giving me more information, that AP is equal to DE. So they're telling me that this line over here is equal to this line. And AQ, this line over here, is equal to DF, this line over here. Prove that triangle APQ is congruent to triangle DEF. So let's highlight the triangles in question at the moment. They want us to prove that APQ, so that's this top triangle over here, APQ, is congruent to DEF. Now, first of all, you need to know that in order to prove congruency, we have four different cases of congruency, and that is either side, 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 angle, side, side, angle, angle, or RHS. In order to prove the two triangles are congruent, we need to look at or meet one of these cases. So one of these cases will help us prove that the triangles are equal. If you take a look at the information that we've been given, we have that AP, this side, is equal to DE, this side. So that's a side. So we have, a, we have S. We have that AQ, this side over here, is equal to DF. That's another side. And then finally, we have that angle A over here is equal to angle D over here. That's an angle. So we're going to use side angle side to prove that these two triangles are congruent. And please, it's very important to remember that when you're proving congruency and you want to use the case side angle side, the angle that you are using needs to be in between the two sides that you are saying are equal, which is true over here. AP and AQ we're saying are equal to DE and DF respectively. The angle is in between the two sides in this triangle. Same thing here, the angle is between the two sides in this triangle. So you need to know how to set up your answer properly and this is how we do it. So when you are proving that something is congruent, it's nice to have a little introduction. So telling me which two triangles you are looking at. So because the question said triangle APQ and triangle DEF, we say in triangle APQ and triangle DEF, we need three reasons because each of the cases have three things. So side, angle, side, or side, 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 or side, angle, angle. We need three statements with reasons and then it's nice to have a conclusion you must have a conclusion with your stating your final case over here at the end so reason number one why they are congruent statement and reason is that remember they told me it was further given that ap was equal to de this over here they told me that that was equal so a P is equal to DE, and that information was given. Very important. Then they also told me that AQ was equal to DF. AQ equal to DF. That information was given. Very, very important to always give me a statement and a reason. That will often get you one mark. Statement and a reason. Okay. Then last but not least, angle A is equal to angle D. We can say, because we're dealing with this triangle, this, this is the only angle A. So we can say angle A is equal to angle D, or you can say angle PAQ. Okay, so P, 
AQ, this angle, is equal to angle EDF. EDF, and that's also given. So again, very, very important to give me statement, reason, statement, reason, and so on. And please don't forget your case over here in brackets at the end after you conclude. Therefore, they are congruent. And by the way, now that we know that they are congruent, we can finally conclude that the third side is also equal. So we knew that AP was equal to DE, AQ was equal to DF. We also now know that PQ or AQ or sorry, PQ. We now also know that PQ is equal to EF. So we know that they're equal. We also know that angle P is equal to angle E. So this angle over here is equal to this angle over here. And we also know that angle Q is equal to angle F. So this angle over here is equal to this angle over here. Very, very important. Because they are congruent, we can therefore make the following conclusions or those following conclusions. The next question says, hence or otherwise. So based on what you just calculated, using what you just proved or what you just calculated, that's what hence means, prove that PQ is parallel to BC. Now let's take a look at where PQ and BC are. PQ is this line over here and BC is this line over here. So they're saying because of what you just found or based on what you just found, can you now prove that this line, PQ, is now parallel to BC. And I hope that you are already seeing the answer. You just need to know how to set it up. Remember, we said because these two triangles are congruent, these ones over here, we said that angle F over here, angle F, is equal to angle Q. So if angle F is equal to T, angle Q is also equal to T. And what that means is that T is equal to T. Okay, stay with me. Also, this angle, angle E, this one here, is equal to angle P. This angle here, E, is Y, so P is also Y. That also means that this angle is equal to this angle. Now, what does this look like to you? Let me use a color. Maybe it will be obvious if I use a color. If this over here is Y and this is Y, it means that those angles are equal. And we can look at this letter. Look at this letter. Okay, it's an upside down F. This angle is equal to this angle. Same thing on the other side, let's change the color. T is equal to T. I see an F as well, like this, an upside down F. We found that this angle is T, this angle is T. We can only use F's, U's and N's, that's corresponding angles, that's co-interior angles and alternate angles, if the lines are parallel. So if these angles are equal, it means that these lines have to be parallel. So how do you set up this answer? Well, what I want us to say is I want us to say that remember these two triangles, APQ is now congruent to triangle DEF. What that means is that this angle is equal to this angle. So we're going to say, first of all, angle A. P, Q, with a little copy on the P because it's angle A, P, Q, it's this angle over here, is equal to angle D, E, F, this angle over here, okay? How do we know that they're equal? Because your reason, so this is your statement, your reason is that the two triangles are congruent. A, P, Q is congruent to triangle D, E, F. So basically what you're saying here is you're saying, I know that this angle is equal to this angle. I know that this one is equal to this one. And the reason I know that is because we proved that the two angles are congruent. Okay, but we also know, and this is all equal to Y, but we also know that angle B, this one over here, is equal to angle E. It was given here in the beginning. We also know that angle B is equal to angle E, which is equal to Y, that was given. So therefore, what I know is that angle APQ is also equal to Y. APQ is equal to Y. So basically what I'm saying is this angle is equal to this angle, which is equal to this angle. And because of that, we can conclude that this line has to be parallel to this line. It's basically corresponding angles. And I'm going to say here, corresponding angles are equal. 
these angles are corresponding, they're equal, which means that this line has to be parallel to this line. 6.1.3 says it is further given, so more information, that AP is equal to 3.5 centimeters, so we can't see A over here, let's move this down. AP, this line over here, is equal to 3.5 centimeters. PB, which is this line over here, is equal to 4 centimeters. And AC, over here, the full line from A all the way to C is equal to 8 centimeters. Determine the length of DF, which is this one over here. Okay, so how do we do this? What I do know, remember from the beginning, is that triangle ABC, so this big triangle over here, ABC, is similar to triangle DEF, this one over here. And as soon as you know that they are similar, as soon as they tell you that they are similar, you can write their sides that are in proportion. So I hope you know what I'm talking about here, but I'm going to write this a bit bigger. A, B, C is similar to D, E, F. What that means is that A, B, so the first two sides of that triangle, over D, E, the first two sides of that triangle, is equal to, okay, so we did first two over first two, A, B over D, E. Now we're going to do last two, B, C, over last two, E, F, which is equal to the first and the last, so first and last AC over first and last DF. I know that the ratio of those sides are equal. The sides are in proportion. That is because I was, I was told that the triangles are similar. So you can make this statement and your reason next to it actually has to be that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. So as soon as we've been proved, as soon as we prove similarity or we are told that they are similar, we can make the statement that the sides are in proportion. Then remember, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find the length of DF. So we're trying to find this one. All the others I can attempt to fill in. So let's take a look. A, B over here. A, B is this full length over here. So four plus 3.5, I've got 7.5 over DE over here, which I don't know, I'm going to leave it as DE, BC over here, B, where's B here, B to C over EF, and then AC, which is this big length over here, 8, over df which is what i'm looking for now if you take a look at that for a second you might be like oh my goodness i don't have enough information i'm trying to find df but i don't know anything else do you remember in one of the previous questions we actually proved that the following triangles apq and def were congruent apq and def i've highlighted them here in this purple pink color apq we proved in the previous questions that it was congruent and remember congruent means identical it means equal a p q and d e f what that means is that if a p is 3.5 centimeters d e this one over here is also 3.5 centimeters so i actually do know what d is d e is 3.5 centimeters i still don't know what b c is but that doesn't matter I know that EF over here is the same as PQ over here, which I also don't know what it is. This doesn't matter. I don't need this fraction in the middle. All I need in order to find DF, do you see I'm looking for DF, that's my unknown. So all I need to do is I need to make this fraction, I'm looking for DF, so make the fraction with your unknown, the fraction containing your unknown, make it equal to another fraction where you know the top and the bottom, this one over here. I know the top is 7.5, I know the bottom is 3.5, okay, just as clarification, for clarifications purposes, A, B, I got from the diagram, they told me in this question, this is 3.5 and this is 4, so therefore A, P 
in total is 3.5 plus 4, 7.5. That's where that comes from. And I got DE from the fact that I know that APQ, this triangle, is congruent to this triangle. Okay, so if this is 3.5, this DE is 3.5. Cool. Now, all you need to do to solve for DF, your unknown, is to cross multiply. So what we do is we say 7.5 multiplied by DF, so 7.5 DF, and then 8 times 3.5, which is 28. Then to get DF by itself, this is multiply by 7.5, so we're going to divide by 7.5. So 28 divided by 7.5. And we get 3,73. I hope that this has been a helpful paper to go through with me. Remember to check out the links below for more past paper questions. Can't wait to see you in another video very soon. Bye, everyone.